Um, and uh, two to go, Andre Jizitsky. I think that's a new name, or it's certainly not one we haven't seen. We've seen too much of. Good to have you, Andre. Uh, his question is: Big lies. Let's see. U.S. intervention in Iraq caused instability and created ISIS. That's true. U.S. intervention in Iraq caused the instability and created ISIS. That's true. But unfortunately, what's um, what's not told in that little abbreviated story is why. If the U.S. had not invaded Iraq, you can make a pretty compelling taste that either Saddam Hussein or um, or one of his one of his psychopathic sons, Uday or, or uh, Uday and um, Houdini, whatever you know, one of his two crazy sons or Saddam would still be in power. Likely, they'd be doing it by murdering their opposition and putting them into paper uh, shredders or industrial shredders and all the rest. But if, if Saddam was still in power, then his brutal suppression would mean that ISIS would not be a force in Iraq, probably. Um, if that were the case, then the Middle East would be completely unrecognizable. Uh, it was not sustainable, the Middle East, the way it was going, you know. Um, one of the things that's – look, let me get to the point here. It is true that by overthrowing Saddam, the United States created the potential for ISIS, but this is the word. It's the potential. And the reason there's an ISIS is not because the United States invaded Iraq, because there is, in fact, evidence about this. What happened was the United States invaded Iraq. The United States defeated Saddam Hussein. The United States made some bad decisions right after that. Uday and Kuse, thank you. And, um, and then it took us a while to figure out we'd done some, some pretty big errors in terms of the insurgency. George Bush, on the advice of General Petraeus, doubled down on Iraq, went with the surge, and all of a sudden we used everything that we were doing wrong, we started doing right, to the degree that when George Bush left office in January of 2009, um, Iraq was secured. The war had been won. There were no U.S. deaths, I want to say, for three or four months prior to, prior to um, Barack Obama um, taking over the presidency. So, yes, the United States did invade Iraq, but ISIS was not going to exist because the United States was going to do in Iraq what it did everywhere else, what it did in, in Europe and what it did in Korea. When we defeated the, the Germans, we put U.S. troops in Germany, and that was 70 years ago. When we defeated the, um, the, the Koreans, we put uh, – uh, when in the Korean War, we, we put U.S. troops in Korea. That was 60 years ago. How long are these troops going to be in Iraq? McCain said, forever. He was mocked and, and ridiculed. He was right. Why wouldn't we leave? I mean, why would we leave? It's a great place to have a base. If you look at if you look at the geopolitical map after as George Bush is leading office, what do you have? You used to have the two powerful states. You had Afghanistan, which was the home of um, Sunni terrorism, and you had Iran, which was the home of Shia terrorism, um, and they were pump pumping their their poison out all over the world. When George Bush left office, Iraq was off the board for the for the. Uh, Sunnis and Afghanistan was off the board for the Shias. There were American troops on both sides of Iran and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is really the home of Sunni terrorism. We had, in fact, won a great and amazing victory. And then this traitorous Muslim sympathizing coward of a president couldn't even do something as simple as a status of forces agreement. He bungled the simple routine housekeeping agreements that allow U.S. troops to stay in a, in a foreign country with bases. And what happened was everything that the Iraqis doubled down on and bet on during the surge, namely that the Americans were going to stick around because we said we would, well, it turned out we lied about that. And we left. We left before they were ready. We left a decade before they were ready. Maybe we left two decades before they were ready. If we'd left Europe in 1949 or 19, yeah, 49, 52, if we'd left, if we just walked away, no NATO, nothing, it would have been a matter of a few weeks or months before the Russians started poking around, and then all of the Western European countries would have been overrun because the only thing that could have stopped the Russians was the Americans. ISIS is a result of Barack Obama's cowardice and his incompetence, and it's especially the result of the Democratic Party being the party of defeat. And I'm not exaggerating here. When Harry Reid, the leading uh, Democratic uh, head of the Senate, says that the Iraq war is lost, when, Obac when Barack Obama runs on the, on, the, on the Iraq war being a terrible miscalculation and a defeat, then when they are handed a victory, they have to turn it into a defeat. And it would be nice if this is the first time it happened, but it's not, because the first time it happened was Vietnam. 
The Vietnam War was launched by communists. It wasn't launched by capitalists. It was launched by communists, by the socialists, by the progressives. And the North Vietnamese invaded South Vietnam, and we fought them for 11 years. And when the war ended with a ceasefire, it didn't end with the, with the communists in Saigon. It ended at the same starting line as it began with. Their invasion was a failure. When the Vietnam War ended, they were back behind the same line that they'd launched themselves from 11 years earlier. They were defeated by the South Vietnamese and the Americans. And after that peace was won, the United States had a treaty with Vietnam, and it basically said, everything you spend to keep those communists behind that line, we will replace. If you shoot a bullet, we'll give you another bullet. If you lose a helicopter, we'll give you another helicopter. It was a guarantee of South Vietnamese um, freedom and autonomy. And after the war was won, the Democrats swept into power after Watergate, and they determined to make a defeat out of that victory, and that's exactly what they did. They withdrew that support, and then the, then the communists tested a couple times. The next thing you know, they just rumbled south, and they killed all 7 million people or God knows how many. They created the defeat that they'd run on. They created the defeat that was their identity. They did the exact same thing in Iraq. And the reason there's an ISIS in Iraq is because Barack Obama had the moral cowardice to turn that, de that victory into defeat because it suited him politically because it was his brand. It's the Democratic brand. They did it twice now in my lifetime. Twice. And all of the men we lost in Vietnam and all the men and women we lost in Vietnam, all the men and women we lost in Iraq, you can say probably died in vain because these victories had been won and then the defeat was handed. Was, it wasn't just handed. to The defeat had to be manufactured, had to be created. And it was. It was created. And uh, that's the Democratic Party of today. Any questions?